Hello, I'm Jay Jeffers. Welcome to my studio. We are talking today about being bold. And yes, I wrote a book on it, but what does it really mean? To me, it means taking some risk, having some fun in your home, but most importantly, I think it's infusing personal style. If you're a designer working for clients, it's even more important that you are making sure that this home reflects your client's personality and who they are. Billy Baldwin, a great decorator from New York, he had a quote that he said, if someone walks into a home and says, Billy Baldwin designed this home, then I wasn't doing my job. Let's start with architectural elements. If you're ready to take some risk and do something different, then think about, is it gonna look good still in 20 years? We did an entryway for a client. He had a, an apartment that was white walls and he really wanted to have an entry moment. We paneled this entire room and kind of enclosed the room a little bit. And really this is something that if he lives there for 30 years, it's gonna still look interesting and fun and modern and current. So this is the front of my studio. Some of these things certainly embody being bold. So let's talk color. You have to have a little bit of a leap of faith when it comes to color on walls, but it's the best way to create a bold environment for yourself. And it's something that if you're tired of it in a few years, repaint. If you're tired of it in six months, repaint. It's not that difficult. This is a space that half of this space is underground. A bold move in painting the walls red, but this is also, you know, the great thing about color is in a few years, if this is something they tire of, the ceiling can be repainted. Think about the mood you want to evoke in the space. Do you want it to be sexy and deep? And if, in that case, you may want to go a darker color. Do you want it to be bright and airy? Pastel on the walls, that's still a bold choice. So it doesn't necessarily mean going super bright or going super dark to be bold. Pattern is a great way to be bold in a space. And it can be done in a smart, edited way so that it's not over the top, but it's bold. If you have a room that has sort of the same scale, same size pattern, and you have three or four of those in a room, chances are it's gonna feel a little overwhelming and not there's not a place for your eye to rest, so to speak. Start with a bold pattern, and then vary the rest of the patterns throughout. Everyone always asks me, when is being bold? When is it too much? You've probably heard the quote from Coco Chanel that when you're leaving the house, look in the mirror and take one thing off. If you're a be bold novice, that's not bad advice. So this is Jay Jeffers signing off. Thank you for going on this bold adventure with me. The last sentence in my book, life is too short to be boring, be bold. <laughs>